Okay, right here is the reset arm for the relay bank, and here's the stopper, the adjustable stopper I was talking about. There's one like this on the other end of the bank. You can see this relay bank is a little bit on the large side. Anyhow, the D relay right here can be tripped, and it was hitting the D relay. It was hitting against the reset arm because the reset arm was too far. So the switches down at the bottom were not closing or opening properly. Now you can see even with the trip there's a little bit of slack in it, but before it would, it would trip to about here, and it wouldn't work right. Unfortunately, I didn't know this problem existed because when you swing the whole reset unit out and you look at all the switches and all the relays, you can see that the relay arm doesn't hit that stopper anymore. This arm here. And so it sat further away. So I adjusted all the switches thinking I had them all right. But as soon as I put it back in the frame and locked it in place, relay arm jumps out a little bit and things don't work like you think they should. My mistake, not paying close enough attention, but now I know.